and welcome back to The Red Booth Show. I'm here with actor Sal Velez Jr. Thank you. How's it going? Good. Very good. Thank you. Good. <laughs> okay, so you have another show that I wanted to mention, which is 10 Days in the Valley, mm -hmm. which is also a drama actually um, dealing with the disappearance of a, of a child. I know. Uh, uh, ABC, um, uh, we just went into season in September, and uh, the, 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 the America loves it, that show. I get a lot of people calling, um, you know, even friends and family saying, who did it? You know, they were trying to corner me, trying to find out who's the suspect, because Kira Sedgwick plays a, a Hollywood producer who, um, who her daughter goes missing, and she's a single mom, so now she has to go crazy searching the, the city, searching California to find her daughter. And everybody's a suspect, including yours truly, of course. But I didn't do That's it. That's right. Or did I? I don't know. <laughs> Either way. So it's a great show. I think ABC, uh, it's a very dark show. That, that, one, that one surprised me when I watched it myself because, you know, when you're shooting, you don't have no idea what's going to come out, the quality. But that one's real dark. I was scared myself, so, yeah. <laughs> you scared <Yeah>. yourself. <laughs> Scary. Yeah. Well, and it looks like it has a really great, uh, you know, cast and, and everything, oh, too. Oh, yeah. So. Yeah. And you have Erica Christensen. Erica Christensen, and Malcolm great. Jamal Warner, um, Otto Wally's on there. I mean... I mean, everybody said the little girl's great, you know, uh, and, um, you know, and obviously uh, Kira Sedgwick, she's, she comes with a huge, you know, she, with a, an anvil of weight, you know what I mean? She's, she's very strong and uh, strong presence, although she's a tiny little thing. She's about this big, you know, she's a petite little woman. That's cool. It looks like a really great show, and I'm sure people are already watching it. It has a new season coming up, right? Yes, yes. We uh, well, right now we don't you never know what network's gonna do. Yeah. You never. I don't. I don't work for ABC exclusively, so I don't know. Uh, and even if I did, I still wouldn't know because you don't. They just don't tell you. You know, it's a network decision. And um, I don't know. I've been on a lot of shows that I thought were gonna be on for forever, two, three seasons. They decided to go to a different direction. And then I've been on shows that I thought were just like well. This is horrible. And then it ends up going 10 seasons. I don't know what the <laughs> hell is going on, you know? So yeah. I have no clue to the remedy of how they do that. Well, that's a very interesting life that you lead. And I thought I would also ask you kind of how did you get like started in the acting business in the first place? Um, well, I was uh, in Chicago. Uh, I was a blue collar, you know, do working. I worked for the, I was a teamster and I worked for the, the Steelworkers Union. And, um, but I was a musician and I, got invited to go audition at Second City. And uh, that was- So how did that happen? Did you have a friend that thought you were like, like, hey, I've seen you? I'll tell you right now. I used to, we used to, uh, my, my band, we had like a Latin jazz band. It was kind of like a Latin Dave Matthews style of a band. So we had this big following. We'd have these shows, we'd go out and we'd play. And in between every number, my guitar players and my musicians would always change guitars and have like some delay between. So I would have these huge audiences and I'd start like You're entertaining like, uh -oh. them. And I'd be like, okay, <laughs> the joke of the day, you know? Yeah. And then next you know, um, uh, a guy named Ty Wansley, who was a big radio personality in Chicago, he came to me and said, dude, you're, you're, I love you. You're, you're great. You need to go audition for Second City right now. They want to do a new uh, syndicate TV show here in Chicago, something like another SNL. Mm. And I raced over there, and I stood with 700 people, and I was like, why are we auditioning again? What are we doing? And they were like, oh, we're improvers. And I was like, you're, like, you're what? You know, and ended up winning on, went on stage. Uh, producers like what I did. They kept inviting me back until finally they offered me a scholarship. Uh, before all my film, before all my TV, I stayed uh, doing theater for about six and a half years. Wow, yeah. that's great. That's such good practice, I feel like, you know, so if you can do theater, then you could do anything, I guess. That's, I guess. I don't know. It's it's a long, long runs. Yeah. And when you're in Chicago, they're long. So you're looking at seven to nine shows a week. I think for every actor, you know, you want to be the sh as strong as you could be. You don't want to uh, just be thrown in the backyard and, and, and here, here's some boxing gloves. Go on, you're, you're you know, ready, set, go. Yeah. That was my, my training. That was my work all the way to make me the silliest person I am today. Thanks, everyone. So, yeah. so, <laughs> That's such a cool history, and yeah. I'm so um, happy for you. Thank you. Congratulations on your success, and I think more and more people are going to be knowing and recognizing who you are, so you're going to have to just be like a lead in one of these shows coming up. So I, that's going to happen. You know what? I predict the future. I, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I, I, uh, um, right now, as we speak, I've got this, this gruesome beard here that, I, that I, I have to play. These days, I play the age range from uh, 30 to like 45 to 50, so 
I'm like, God bless America. So like I'm always, you know, dyeing my beard or cutting my beard. And I did it when I was doing Hand to God and shooting um, Hand to Fight at the same time. So, you know, it's a job. I love it. You know, um, I'm very blessed and very fortunate. So I, I thank everyone for, for tuning in. Well, very cool. Thank, Thank you, you very much for being on the show. And I hope everybody follows him and sees these amazing shows that he's on. And, and we'll stay tuned to see more from you. Yes, we will. Thank you. <laughs>